now I've got a bouncy ball, I want to make a little paddle that I can move around and make the ball bounce off that as well as off the edges. So to do that I'm going to need to make another new sprite. Rectangle this time, let's make it a colour that will stand out, so red will do. And draw it somewhere down here. If you make it too big, it'll be unfair, the game will be too easy. Too small, it'll be too difficult. So somewhere around about there. Set the costume centre again. And click OK. Up the top, call it Paddle. Ooh, paddle. There we are. Now, that looks a little bit small to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit that. Costumes, edit, get rid of that, and draw a new one. There we go. Let's try that. That looks a bit better. Now, when I've got Paddle selected on the scripts page, I want to put in a little command so that when the game starts, when the green flag is clicked, I want it to go to the middle down at the bottom. So somewhere around about minus 150 in the Y and 0 in the X. So control, when green flag is clicked, motion, go to X0, because that's the middle horizontally, and Y minus 150. I'm leaving a little gap and you'll see why in a second. There we go. So click my green flag and my paddle goes to the middle. Now, at the moment, it doesn't move. So, what I need to do is go into a forever loop and, again for motion, set to set X to, because we want it to move side to side, not up and down. If it was up and down, we'd set Y to. Set X to sensing and call it mouse X again because that's the x-axis. So, now what you will see, hopefully, is if I stop this and run it again, if I move my mouse across, my paddle moves with it. What I haven't done is told my ball to bounce when it hits the paddle, so at the moment it's just going straight through it. So the next step is go back to ball, and we need to add a little bit to this if. So it's, if it's touching the edge, or it's touching the paddle. So I'll, let me drag that out of there, drag this out of here. I'm going to get rid of that if, because I want to swap it for an if or. Actually, I didn't need to get rid of the if. Excuse me. I put the if there and operators. I'm going to put an or in that gap instead. So if it's touching the edge, or back to sensing, it's touching. Paddle, then it will do that little bounce and turn pattern that we just put in there. Now, if you drop that down and you can't see paddle, it's because you haven't called your paddle paddle, or it's because you're writing this script in the paddle section. You shouldn't be, you should be writing it in the ball section. So let's have a look now. When I click the green flag, the ball should bounce, the paddle should move with my mouse, and when it hits the paddle, it should bounce off. There we go. So bouncing off the edges or the paddle. Okay. Have a go.